Hey guys, welcome back. Sarah and I make lots of gift guides throughout the year. I also make lots of other mommy content and lifestyle content. Once we're doing videos, cook with me videos, clean with me videos, shop with me, decorate with me, lots of plus size fashion and beauty. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you haven't already, I'd also really love if you followed me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is the long awaited. I've had so many messages and comments on this. My what I got my kids for Easter video. So this is I believe my third year of my third what I got my kids for Easter video. So if you want ideas from the last few years because I still love like all the stuff I got then I will try to make sure I link them down below do a card or something. But this year is obviously a little bit different with everything going on in the world right now and the scariness of quarantine and all that type of stuff. I'm not going to touch on it too much. I hope this is a safe place for you and for something for you to enjoy and just feel safe and loved and appreciated. So thank you for being here. So um, Easter may look a little bit different this year than what we normally do. We may have to watch Easter on uh, our Easter service online. I don't really know yet. We're still obviously playing it by ear and what our state of our country and our state and our world and everything looks like. Um, but I'm trying to keep it as normal for the girls as possible and as special for the girls as possible. So we're gonna keep it big like I normally do and so of course I want to make that disclaimer I'm in no way trying to say you need to spend this much money, you need to buy these many things, you need to buy this stuff. I'm just trying to give you some good ideas um, or things that I think are good ideas I guess for your little ones or if you just like watching these types of videos. Um, I have said it in every single one of my <laughs> gift guides, but we do it big on the holidays. We like to kind of go all out for Valentine's Day, birthdays, and Christmas. My girls do not get toys really, except for incredible special occasions throughout the year, or if they save up their money or have earned it in some way. Other than that, we don't just go to Target and buy them a toy. Um, normally, their big times of year are the holidays, and normally no one really has a problem with Christmas, when I go crazy on Christmas, but Easter people get all up in arms about. Um, Easter for us is definitely our Christian holiday and what we believe um, and celebrating Jesus's resurrection and so my girls definitely know that. We try to build a very strong um, foundation of faith for them. They know what Easter, Easter is about. We talk about it throughout the whole entire Lent um, and Easter season. And so they know that Easter is not about the Easter Bunny or little eggs or anything like that. But we still like to give them gifts, and yeah. So I know a lot of people are like get like real upset with me <laughs> when it comes to the Easter video. But you know what? This is what my husband and I feel comfortable with doing for our daughters. You do you. No need to leave hasty and nasty comments. All right, enough of me gabbing. I'm just gonna start. So the Easter baskets. I have, um, I've kept for a number of years now. Um, these two are from Walmart and this top one is from Target. These ones are from Walmart and I really like them. I think they're super cute with this like little corally pastel color and then this um, like gold metallic color. Um, I also have the grass, we reuse that. Um, I still have the tag on it as well. Um, I don't know what type of Easter basket situation there are right now. I know it's kind of hard, um, but maybe they, they do offer with some Walmart grocery pickups. That's what we've been doing. Um, but if you just find just a regular like wicker basket, you could easily spray paint it yourself. So we have this one and this one. I believe this one's Olive's and this one's Eleanor's. I don't quite remember, but they have their grass inside of it. And then... <laughs> This one's mine. <laughs> um, we also, the adults celebrate as well. And so this one is just from Target. It's just a basic little one. And I'm sure you could do like, like I said, like pick up um, for a lot of these items or look on Amazon. My husband's is somewhere. He also participates as well. And I normally like to share um, his stuff with you, but it's literally taken so long just to get this stuff in that I don't want to waste any more time and wait. This is after already filming the video. Obviously the sun's going down. I'm in my pajamas um, that I promptly changed in to after I actually filmed. But all my husband's stuff 
besides one thing came in the mail and I want to share that with you just in case because I know some of you also include your husband's uh, gifts in your Easter baskets and I just wanted to give you some ideas if you were looking for some so this is going to be a very impromptu one um, this is my husband's little bucket um, <laughs> it's from Target or Walmart honestly I have no idea Target um, it was five dollars he's used it every single year but it's just his cute little bucket Inside his bucket will be these pair of <laughs> office sleep shorts. I got these, I believe, on Walmart. Um, so I will have everything linked below. But I believe I got these on Walmart.com. Um, and they just say like Dunder Mifflin. And then there is the Stapler and Jello, World's Best Boss mug. Just really cute and nice for the warmer weather. I know we always think about pajamas for. Christmas time, but we don't think about them for Easter and it's always nice to have a new pair of cozy PJs So those are his um, I then also got him. He loves racing and he's been really really into watching There's like a new formula one racing show on Netflix and he freaking loved it um, Was obsessed. So I got him these socks. Let's say I'd rather be watching racing um, and then the actual like Foot area non foot area little ankle and leg have like a bunch of different racing vehicles so formula one little motorcycles and cars and i just thought these were cute um he always likes socks dress socks socks he can wear to work so he has those and then he needed some new lotion um and so i found this one on amazon for it was cheap super on sale it's a giant bottle and it's the nivea min maximum hydration lotion um this is for body face and hands so he is not picky so we're just gonna try that out see if he likes it um like i said there's one thing coming in the mail and it's cologne i think i ordered him um ralph lauren polo blue is it polo polo blue i think it's polo ralph lauren polo whatever it's one that's like had really good reviews he hasn't tried it before but i was looking for more of like a fresher aquatic -y summery scent so i found that one that one really good reviews so that's supposed to be coming in um and then i'm also going to get him a couple of like yummy goodies and treats that he likes but then his other thing that he wanted was this rogue sheath i don't even know if i'm saying that right do you call it rogue i don't know sheath the stage four the ultimate battle if i could tell you what this is i i think it's just like a giant mouse pad you see that thing it's just a giant table size mouse pad for your gaming gear it's giant but he just got his full that's his little messy setup over there but he just got his like new cool man setup so um <laughs> this is supposed to go with it i mean it's gonna take up the majority of his basket but that is it i just wanted to share those with you of course i will have everything linked below all of the items were either from walmart or amazon so you should be able to get them i've noticed that Amazon is showing extended delivery times as far as it's saying like oh it won't be here for a week or two weeks or days or whatnot but they've been coming next day or the day after that they've been coming earlier than expected so they're probably just telling you that it's going to be a little bit later just so you kind of have an idea in case it does get delayed but I ordered these all yesterday and they came today so that's really good um yeah that's all all right back to the other stuff <laughs> All right, so for Texas, it starts getting really warm around this time of year and we really start heating up. So I always like to include a couple swimsuits in the girls' baskets, at least one. This year, we're only doing one because both of their swimsuits, I think that they can fit um, from last year. So we're just adding one on. Um, and I normally just add a size up, then they can wear the one last year for as long as they can and then move on to the new one and vice versa. So that keeps going on. Um, for Eleanor, if you've been watching my channel for a while and watch any of my gift guides, you'll know that she is obsessed with Toy Story. So I found this really cute, the like hanger super wonky, so I'm sorry. I found this really cute Toy Story two piece. This is actually from the Disney store, but I bought it online at um, Amazon. It's $22.99. It wasn't any cheaper on Amazon than it was at the Disney store. Um, it may be cheaper now, 
but I didn't have to pay shipping, which is what I would have to pay at the Disney store. So I definitely recommend if you don't want to pay shipping um, to check out Amazon. And they had all the sizes, and I just think it is so stinking cute. The only thing that I'm slightly upset about is that pretty much besides Bunny and Ducky, everyone else's heads are cut off. So we have Jesse's head cut off, Rex's head cut off, uh, Forky's kind of halfway there, but like there's only one full Rex on this side, but Jesse is like never full. So it's kind of kind of sad it looks kind of weird when there's always like cut off but it's still really cute I know she'll really like it I love the little rainbow and the straps in the back are really adorable as well this is a 3t because that is her size I'm hoping it fits because I haven't tried it on her yet but Amazon has a little bit longer of a return policy so I think I can make it work um, but this is hers and then Ollie's is also from Amazon if you've also been watching my channel for a while you know she's obsessed with Frozen specifically Frozen 2 so she really wants everything frozen um and i found this little two-piece swimsuit that is like elsa's i think it's called like the traveling outfit because she has so many gosh darn outfit changes in that movie but it's this one um and it's a little two-piece and it's super cute it's getting kind of washed out on camera it's really sweet um it's pretty thin this is definitely like um i think from like a china China. A Chinese based company. Goodness gracious, finish your words. A Chinese based company. Um, so quality isn't like amazing and stellar and great, but it's cute and she'll be really excited. But as you can see, it's, if you can see my hand, it's pretty see through. Um, but she'll be fine. It's, she's just wearing it around us. Um, but it's cute. It feels like a swimsuit material. I don't know how great it'll last the actual bottoms are really nice the elastic in there the stitching like these are really nice it's just the top that is kind of flimsy to me but i still think it's really cute and she's gonna flick and flick and what is with my words she is going to freak out and i think it's just really sweet i believe this was like 19 19 dollars maybe 16 somewhere around there obviously goes up and down i will try to link everything below i know right now with the mail and how everything's working everything's kind of slow um hopefully you can get most of these in time i know it also kind of depends where you're located around the country um but i will have things linked below and multiple things so like this i will have from amazon but i'll also link it from disney store just in case you can get it earlier from there but certain items that i only got on amazon obviously i can only link from amazon all right, so I normally like to get rain boots for my girls around Valentine's Day. In Texas, we don't get a whole lot of snow and ice. We get just a lot of wet and mush and wet. <laughs> so, and that happens a lot more early on in spring, but I know it is spring and the weather will come and the girls have completely grown out of their rain boots and the little toes are all scrunched in there. No matter how much they protest and say they're fine, I know it's probably not comfortable. So I decided to finally just get a new pair for each of them. And I did size up, so they should be pretty roomy. Um, I got these ones for Olive. Both of these were on Amazon, and I just thought these were so cute. These are from the brand Zoogs, I think is how you say it. Um, but these are just really, really sweet. I loved the like fun tie-dye kind of galaxy print to it. Um, they have glitter all over them. They have the little handles to help hold them up. And there is like a, a sole inside but it is removable um and little grippies on the bottom i just thought these were super fitting for her really cute and pretty um and will go with the majority of her clothes so we have those and for eleanor eleanor is now obsessed with red and blue because of toy story and she loves everything rainbows and fun and unicorns and everything like that too so i thought these were perfect for her because they're red and blue colors of toy story but they still have like rainbows and unicorns and are girly as well um these also have grips on the bottom these are from lone cone um so they're different from those ones these these are like a i feel like an are not more authentic welly they're kind of that rubbery a little bit more matte um, whereas these are a lot more plasticky um, it just depends on what you prefer they are very different these are a little bit more you can hear that like plastic um, where these I feel like are more authentic rubber these have a bit more structure whereas this um, these kind of like bend and fold to the leg so it just kind of depends on what your child prefers and what you like better too um, but I still think these are really adorable like I said, they're from Lone Cone um, on Amazon as well. I think they also have them on a website, so I'll try to link that below um, too, just so you can try, if you can't get them on Amazon, you can get your hands on them early. But they have, in both of these brands, they had a ton of different styles for both boys and girls. So if these ones don't suit your fancy, I do have other options as well.
they have other options as well but i think these are around like 20 dollars or so actually i got these on wicked sale i think for like nine dollars and then these were i think like 20. um but of course amazon goes up and down all the time so you normally can get pretty good deals but i think they're both really cute and i'm excited for them Okay, I normally like to get a couple of like little clothing items for the girls as well as we enter warmer weather so they can have some fun um, summery type of clothes. So I got two dresses. These are actually were intended for their like Easter dresses um, for church. Like I said, I don't know what that'll look like. We probably will not have Easter service um, actually at church. So we'll probably still get dressed up and try to make it as normal as possible and watch church online and maybe take some photos have a little easter egg hunt indoors or out on the lawn or something like that um but these are the little dresses i got i still think these are really really cute they're a lot more bold in person than they're coming off on camera but these are from cat and jack um this is was a 5g this is it for olive and this was $17.99 but i just loved all the really pretty like scallop eyelet lace on it and it's such a pretty peach color with that really fun bright like neon coral and it kind of crisscrosses in the back with little flutter sleeves i just thought these were precious and beautiful and will transition well for other events that they go to we go to a lot of family functions specifically with jazz's family and i thought these would be great for that as well as just like churches church services throughout the rest of the year and things like that um and this is eleanor so i just bought them the same size or the same dress but different sizes and i just think they're so sweet and to go along with that but also just for the rest of the year you guys know i normally go ahead and buy like their jellies and stuff like that too and include them in their baskets this year i'm only including one pair of shoes besides the rain boots because i just don't think we'll have enough room <laughs> so once again, I got them the exact same pair of shoes. These are from Kat and Jack, and I just thought they were super freaking sweet. I love the little rainbow um, straps. These are like little gladiator sandals. They're really, really soft and really bendy and flexible, so they're not gonna like really dig into your little one's feet and then move with them as well. Um, I just love them. I love the Cat and Jack shoe line from Target. I think they're great shoes and they're inexpensive. These were $16.99 and a couple weeks ago they were having I think a 20% off sale and so I got them during that. Um, but I just got, a, you know, one for Olive and one for Eleanor. Um, but I think that they're really sweet and I like them and I'm excited for both of them to have them. My girls love getting clothes. It's something really fun for them. I know not every kid loves that, but my girls do. So I definitely try to give them a number of clothing items and shoes because not only are they fun for them, but they're really useful. So I like to fill their baskets with that. The next thing and the last clothing item, I believe, um, I got them both matching little dresses from Carter's. Um, Ollie kind of moved up to the Carter's kids. She can still wear a lot of the 5T stuff, but I moved her up in this dress because I wanted her to be able to wear it for a little bit longer. But <laughs> it made me so sad. Um, but it's just this really sweet little unicorn dress. The little mane is full of tulle, different colors of tulle, an organza or whatever. Um, and it's just rainbow on the bottom. Totally really sweet and fun. It'd be fun for school. It's light enough and easy enough to move around so they both can play in them. And I'm not super worried about it. Um, but Eleanor has the exact same one. These will retail for $34, but I guarantee you, I know for a fact I did not pay that. I think I paid like 12, I think, for these. Um, and right now is actually a pretty good time to shop for kids' clothes because of what's going on. A lot of sales are happening and a lot of really good crazy sales. So um, I bought both of these and I think they're really sweet and fun for summertime and they match actually really well with their Easter dresses just for like aesthetic purposes. <laughs> Okay, so you guys always know that I try to always include a book with whatever gift giving I'm doing, whether it's Valentine's Day, Christmas, Easter, birthday, either a book or definitely some sort of educational activity for them to have. It's really important to me. I really wanna foster their love for reading and learning. Um, and Easter, I normally try to stick to religious books. And so last year, I wanna share this one with you um, because it's so good and we've read it throughout the whole entire year this year. And now during the Easter season, we've read it every single night. My girls love it they sit through it perfectly they're enthralled the illustrations are amazing and it is the garden the curtain and the cross and this is beautiful i got it on amazon i will have it linked below i love this book it is a really really great way to um ha teach about the gospel in a really good kin kid friendly way um it's beautiful i mean the illustrations are just so fun and just like really engaging 
the word usage is great they talk about it really well i don't know i just i like this one a lot and th these are actually part of a whole like collection and series called tales that tell the truth um and there's a whole bunch of different ones there's actually also a christmas one that i meant to get during christmas and i totally forgot um but i really really like this one and so this year to go along with it this is another one of the series um, and this is God's very good idea and it's a true story about God's delightfully different family, delightfully different family and it's just talking about um, the differences that we all are um, and God uses us in different ways but we're all meant for his kingdom and what we can do to love on one another, encourage one another. It also talks still also like about the gospel um, and talking about Jesus still. And so I don't know, I just love these books. I think they are so sweet and so engaging and really do a really good job of grasping the concept for little ones because it's sometimes really hard to talk about religion with them because it's such a abstract idea and it's so big. Um, obviously we still struggle to understand it. So I'm really excited for this one. I think it's really sweet and I really recommend the um, The tales that tell the truth line. I think they're great. See as you can tell they have like all of the different ones on the back. So Recommend them both on Amazon. I don't know if you can get them any other place, but I will have it linked below Okay, so Ollie's um, is actually at my mom's. I think my mom is going to put this in her basket, but I wanted to share this with you because I think it's a good idea. Normally, I like to put toothbrushes in stockings and stuff like that, but um, this past year, they had just got new toothbrushes right before Christmas, so I didn't do that. Um, so, we're adding them into the Easter one. This is um, Eleanor. She's obsessed with LOL right now, so she has the LOL... I think Queen Bee is her name. I honestly don't really know. Um, but super cute. I really, really like the Fire, Firefly brand. I like the light up ones um, as well as the actual electric ones. I think they're really great. They're inexpensive. You can get them at Walmart and Target and I also think Amazon. So um, Olives, I believe, is probably frozen. And um, this one is LOL. So I just want to share these because I think these are really good, inexpensive. Easter basket item as well. All right, another thing I'm including are hair products. My girls love to get all glam and all cute and fun, and hair products are so cheap on Amazon. So I had this ginormous bag of scrunchies. I know scrunchies are like all the rage now. Um, and literally this has, I think like 56 scrunchies in it, and it was just a couple of dollars. And the scrunchies are actually really nice. The reviews are really awesome on this. There's a really nice elastic um, inside, and they're not gonna just like fall apart. Um, these would be great if you have a lot of older girls or teens um, would be great for like Easter baskets. You can just like pick a different color story and wrap like a little ribbon around them and they have all these different um, scrunchies. If you have a bunch of different girls, they'd be good for Easter egg hunt to include the older ones as well to like shove them in Easter eggs. Um, my girls just love hair stuff. So these will just be good for them. So I'll probably put some in their baskets, some in Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt. So we just have a bunch of gosh darn scrunchies everywhere. And I'll keep this bag so I can put them all back in it because I have nowhere else to put all of these scrunchies. But there's literally every color you could ever, ever want. But if you go to even like Target, like and try to buy like a pack of three scrunchies, it's like eight bucks for 56 for like five. I can't beat it. And then lastly, I think these were like $2, maybe a little bit more, but butterfly clips are coming back in and I love me some butterfly clips. I loved them as a little girl. These are super, super cheap. I know a lot of the reviews mentioned that they kind of broke on them, but there's a bunch in here and honestly, I don't care. These were so cheap that it's okay. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? But until they really start bringing them out in stores, I'll probably just order them on Amazon. Um, but they're just really cute and sweet and I have a bunch of different colors and are fun for like summer outfits. And of course my girls love pink and purples and reds and blues. So they have plenty of stuff to match with it. I used to love to like take my hair and part it and put little clips all around to like make a crown. I just can't wait to do that with my girls. <laughs> so I got them a whole bag of these, which will be really great for also like Easter eggs. If you don't want to just fill a bunch of Easter eggs with candy and you want actual like useful items or different things to use, these are good and they are small so they'll fit well. I also got each of them a little Lip Smackers lip gloss. Um, I think I got these on Target 
but you can get them anywhere walmart amazon um they were inexpensive i wish that they had one this one was a bit more colored this is clear it has them some, some like iridescent shimmer to it this is a chasing rainbows flavor um and then this one's a little mermaid one it's pink i just thought this one was a little bit more fun for them but i didn't want to get them the exact same one so i don't know we'll see um who i give to who um but i just know they love lip gloss i'll be excited for whoever gets what okay so on to the more fun and exciting things um i just have a couple more things and these are more kind of like bigger items <laughs> um i always like to get some sort of like either water or outdoor play item or art item um something like that that they can utilize for outdoors in springtime and summer and enjoying the warmer weather and looking forward to it um so for olive i got this um little unicorn gardening tool set with learning guide um and it's just this really cute little what it is it's a little gardening tool set um she loves to help my mom garden and plant flowers and to help her out and it's so fun for her and it's such a great learning activity and sensory activity and just gets her outdoors um and so i thought this was so cute i got it on amazon and let me tell you it's a little pricey to me for what it is i feel like it's a lot i think it's worth like 15 or so dollars and i paid like 25 but it's still really cute and I know she'll like it. It comes with a pair of gloves. These gloves are actually pretty nice. They have nice little rubber grips on them and I think they're pretty thick so she won't hurt her hands. Um, she likes to help weed. She helps my mom weed and that's how she earns extra money um, just so she can save up for toys. <laughs> And um, it comes with three little gardening tool sets. These are actually pretty nice too. They're actual metal um, and then like nice little plastic handles and they come in different colors. It has a little bag to include all your little tools in. I wish they had some seeds they included because I think that would be kind of fun. And then the little watering can which is a little unicorn um, and I just they kind of seem kind of small to me but they're probably perfect for her size. But the little watering can that's a little unicorn is really cute and she loves to water that's like her favorite thing but let me show you the learning guide because i expected like a book <laughs> i expected a book and it's like the smallest thing ever and it also really doesn't teach much about gardening um it has like fun little activities that you can do and like crosswords and stuff but this makes me i don't know this made me laugh so hard because i expected like an actual book but I do think this is a really sweet gift and it's perfect for Easter time. And if you have a little one that also loves nature and plants and flowers and outdoors, like my oldest does, this one is for you. I think it's so sweet and cute. Um, and like I said, this was about $25 or so on Amazon. It may be cheaper now. They do have a bunch of different types on Amazon, but I just like this one the best. Now, this is for Eleanor. Eleanor does not like the outdoors as much as Olive does. She likes to go outside and play, but she's definitely the type of person who's like, all right, I'm ready to go inside. Olive can stay outside forever. Eleanor is like, let me back in. But she still does love to be outside, and she absolutely loves her bubbles. Um, bubble machines sometimes can be totally hit or miss, and they can totally fail. I've purchased so many in the past that it just have broken down really fast. Um, but this one had really, really good reviews, so I have high hopes for it. And it's just, it's a nice little bubble machine. It's super sweet, and it is a little whale. I believe they came in different colors, but I got her this one. Um, my family's pool has a whale, like, cleaning vac, and it's her name's like Wanda the Whale, I think. And my dad um, used to take big pride in his pool and loved Wanda the Whale. And I don't know, this is just like a way to honor him in some way. It's such a silly thing, but it's just cute. It makes me think of Pop Pop. So, um, we got her her little whale, and they both obviously can use this and both enjoy this. Bubbles, I mean, my kid doesn't love bubbles. Like, I feel like they just never grow out of the love for bubbles. So a cute little bubble machine is what I got. Eleanor, um, this was about $16. And like I said, it had really good reviews though. So I don't mind spending a little bit more money on a bubble sh bubble machine if I know that it's actually going to produce a large amount of bubbles and last for a while. So, bubble machine. All right, so we're down for the last couple of items. And these are not necessities slash, well, none of this is really a necessity, but slash they are more of like a fun additive um not normally what i put in easter baskets um 
but <laughs> this year is kind of a little different. So um, I had originally planned to upload my um, daughter Eleanor, she just turned three, her birthday haul. I filmed it and everything and all of the files got corrupted. So you didn't get to see, but she got a whole bunch of LOL OMG dolls. She's obsessed, loves them to death. That was her big thing, that's what she really, really wanted. And my oldest has had really no desire for LOL at all, which has been totally fine, but she just didn't care. But then when the Barbies came out or the OMG dolls, it was like total game changer. She thought they were the coolest thing on the planet. Um, so they really wanted one for Easter. So for Eleanor, I ended up getting her swag. This is, I yeah, this is from like the series one, season one. Um, she has Neonlicious from the series, but she really wanted swag. This one's really hard to get your hands on and find. Um, it's normally out of stock online and I haven't found it in stores besides one time and decided to get it definitely then um, but she's really cute I will say that these dolls I think are insanely detailed and definitely worth the price um, the actual like little lol omg dolls I don't really think or whatever the lol the original I think are just not worth the price at all but the actual Barbies are so detailed so nicely put together like they are definitely worth it to me and they are so fun even for me like i enjoy like getting it all the stuff out and be like look how cute like they even put fake nails on them i don't know i think they're adorable um she wanted this one like i said she's really into red right now so this is the one she wanted and i'm really excited i got my hand on it because this wasn't the one she was originally going to get because i couldn't find it of course when eleanor got those dolls all have decided like wow these are actually amazing and now she wants them um, so this was really exciting and I kind of hate sharing this now because of everything going on most people probably aren't worried about toy shopping <laughs> but I got this on clearance at Walmart for $17 this is still full price online I don't know why this was on clearance at Walmart's at Walmart but you guys know I shop that toy section literally every time I'm in there except for recently um, but it always normally has really great deals Hopefully soon, they also, when everything kind of dies down and this stuff, hopefully we flatten the curve and everything blows over and we're able to stay safe and healthy. They will have their usual kind of like summer um, big blowout sale and maybe some of these will be on <laughs> clearance again, but I was able to get this for $17. Um, I was so excited because these are originally like $35. So this is the Winter Disco series. So this is the ones that came out during Christmas time and this is Dolly and Dollface. And it also comes with an LOL, the Little Sisters as well, or like the regular whatever one. Um, but Ollie really, really liked this one and wanted this one. It is totally her just like a little glam chick um but really cute and she'll be really excited to have her, like start her collection now they have a lot of them um we're we're really making way in that so those are their lol dolls and this last item is kind of ridiculous if you've been watching my gift guides for a while you've known about this thing and i've had it for so long but i continually i think about giving it to them for one of their birthdays or christmas or something like that and then i take it out and i don't give it to them um but i feel like this is actually a really good time since we're home since the weather is warming up and where they are at their ages because they really really love to play with one another and they love to play with barbies and like their lol dolls so i decided it's the perfect time and what I'm talking about is this Barbie, what the heck is this thing called? Barbie cruise ship, I think. Yeah, Barbie cruise ship. So, this giant freaking thing. Um, I got this on sale when Toys R Us went out of business. It was marked at $99.99. And I think it was like over that price originally. And I want to say I got it for like $40 or $50. Um, and it was something that Ollie talked about a while ago and wanted. But she felt so young for it for me. Because it was just, had a lot of other pieces. And I just wanted her to utilize it better. Um, and so I've just kept it <laughs> for a couple of years now in my closet. And it is time to break this bad boy out. It is a cruise ship and it can float in the water. Um, and they can also just play it with on it dry land. And I just think it'll be so fun for them. Um, it's just a good time of year for this type of toy to, to me. And especially if we can't go out anytime soon, I feel like this will provide them with a lot of fun and a lot of excitement. And so, yeah, I know this is a really big <laughs> 
purchase a ticket item and it's not an easy thing to just come on, come by or what you would normally get for Easter. But um, if you have a little one that's birthday's coming up or if you like to go crazy like me or are looking for something that'll just make this time a little bit easier on your little ones, I think this is a really fun idea. And I'm really glad that I saved it for as long as I have because this is, I feel like the perfect time to give to them. So this will be like a definitely a shared gift. It will be by both their baskets so that they can just enjoy it and have fun with it. And I'm excited to kind of help them and open it up and open a dip and have fun with them too. All right, that is it. I know so many of you guys have been asking and dying for this video and as we approach closer and closer, um, I think we're only three weeks away now, so it's definitely time for me to upload this and share this with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know this time is so scary and so just unknown but i hope that i can provide that just a little safe place for just a little bit just know that i'm thinking about each and every one of you i'm praying for you and loving you from afar and um i hope this helped in some way to get you kind of excited for the easter holidays like i said most of these if not i think pretty much all of these are shoppable online so you don't have to risk your safety or your health or your well-being or risk anybody else's well-being as well so that is it. Um, I hope that you got some good ideas. Please let me know what um, you guys are thinking about putting in your little ones. Easter baskets. I love, sorry, I'm like, oh, the vitamins I've been taking lately have just given me all bubbly. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope that I gave you some good ideas. Like I said, please let me know what the items that you're putting in your little ones baskets. I love just hearing what you guys do. I love getting good ideas too, and I'm about to binge watch all of these videos i've only seen a couple which makes me kind of sad but i think just everything going on it's just not people's first and number one priority right now but i hope that i can give you ideas like i said thank you so much for watching i'd love it if you subscribed um and followed me on instagram and i will see you very soon on my next video bye guys